everybody. It's Linda G. And I'm here with our lovely author. Hello. And Mel went to Europe. Somebody paid for him to come out there for something. And uh, Arthur just said, I said, can you imagine he had the bad manners to go? And he goes, good, because I get to be on the show. <laughs> go away more, Mel. Go away more. Yeah. So him and I, just before we came on, we were talking about the polls. And this morning, Morning Joe repeated Washington Post, who I do not think is on the up and up. Never have. I unsubscribed with them a while ago, even before I unsubscribed to the New York Times. They want you to fear, and they're acting like it's a dead heat or Trump's ahead here just by a point. Or... They can do that dead heat till the cows come home. I'm not getting it. What about you, Arthur? No. I'm feeling... As I told you earlier, you know, I once worked on a TV show where they used to put out on their website um, polls and stuff like that and ask lots of questions. And then we'd get the answers and the producers didn't like what they saw. They change it to be what they wanted. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if they can do that on a TV show, I'm sure they can do it somewhere. But also else. remember, they make money off yeah. of him. The more we get afraid of him, the more people will tune in, the more money they make. It's all about more money, more money, more money. Well, I had a client actually was talking to. She says, <clears throat> "Well, what happens if he if he wins? You know, you're going to be out of work. No one's going to watch your channel anymore." I'm like, "Oh, please, I don't see him winning." Yeah, and if we go get out of work because he did win, which he won't, whatever, we had to go with what we were told. Yeah, I'm still going with what I'm told. He was a very famous psychic who's been on some major shows. And I, I think he thinks Trump will win. I can't remember what he said. The one from England says Trump will win. He said Trump was going to win in 2022. Mm. But, uh, but this psychic said we're going to have a nuclear war in February. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah, that didn't happen. No. I mean, you know, we get... I'm, I try and explain to people, look, being a psychic, things we get, a lot of times there's free will, but there's also fluidity involved. But eventually things do pan out the way we're seeing it. Just like with the Kamala and um, Biden, it's just two years early. That's all. Yeah. Now, let me ask you um, about Netanyahu real quick. They probably asked me on here, but I want to ask you. It's actually chilly outside. I've got a blanket over my legs. It's going to be uh, 84 here today. How much? 84. I don't know what it's going to be here, but it's it's cold in the morning. Yeah. So my question is, uh, Netanyahu, apparently, um, I'm still listening to the book War by Bob Woodward. Mm -hmm. And Biden had some choice words about Netanyahu. What an idiot he is, all kinds of foul words. He only is out for himself. And he's been screaming for a while now about Netanyahu. And let me tell you something. Netanyahu doesn't want this to end. Oh, he even wrote him when Netanyahu hit Jordan or something. He killed somebody in Jordan. He said, Jordan, really? BB, Jordan? And, of course, he doesn't answer back. But the reason Netanyahu doesn't want to stop this is because when they do, then there'll be true investigations of how this even started, about how he knew they were going to hit October 7th and he did nothing. Right. And so he's... It's kind of like Trump wanting to run for president so he doesn't go to jail. Yeah. Keep the war going, you know? Yeah. that I just want to tell you guys that Yahoo's going down. And someone just sent me a link they had a huge march yesterday by the people of Israel against Netanyahu. Mm -hmm. They don't want his happy ass there. They know what he's about. When I was predicting earlier this year, I had seen him. <clears throat> I thought he was going to be going down in July for some reason. I just hope uh, last year of uh, this past year, July. This past July. Yeah. But it, when I look at it again, it's like, well, that's when everything started coming out about him. You know, so maybe that's beginning of the end. I don't know. But I still see him. I don't see him there next year. Put it that way. I don't either. And I don't know if it's because he's taken out. I see a cloth around his face. So I don't know if he's dead or if he's kidnapped or what. 
but he's taken out. Do we care? No. I always see a female coming out of a, uh, coming to rise like a gold in my ear out of all of this. Yeah, somebody, some female will take over. It'll be a horse of a different color. Um. Okay, so Teresa said, why is Mike Pence so afraid? Is he afraid or is he just disgusted? Both. Okay. Both. I mean, you know, it's like Mike Milley went and had uh, bulletproof glass installed in all of his in his house. Oh, he had to, yeah. And and uh, the curtains he has in his house has you know they're bombproof or whatever it is. So it's like, you know, that's how they're living right now because of the Trump radicals. Yeah, but the Trump radicals aren't going to radically come out like he would hope they would. No, but you always have to take precautions. And so, you know, because yeah, there are the cray craze. Well, I mean, how many times I think Mike Pence probably gets haunted every time he hears hang Mike Pence. Right. So, yeah, I think that's why. Oh, he still wrote his book. I mean, please. Yeah. So three shifting says, do you see Elon losing his bought citizenship with all the felonies that he has committed and is committing? I'm not sure about, I always feel he's going to get in a lot of trouble, especially what he did with Starlink uh, at the beginning of the Ukraine-Russian war. And I th I feel there's three investigations going on in the guy. I don't know if he's going to lose. They're already looking at him, too, about that million-dollar thing. Oh, yeah. In the, uh, sign the sign the, the pack or whatever, his, uh, and we'll give you a million dollars a day. Yeah. So, They're going to jump. I hear it. I, I It might even happen this week. Yeah, but I'm also feeling in other states too, like Michigan, there's some investigations going on and other things. But I also feel he may get, you know, he has a lot of government contracts. They may be going to, the, some of them be going to the wayside. Especially when Kamala gets in there. Mm -hmm. I see her saying, cut him out. She's not going to tolerate it. He's a clear and present danger to this United States of America. Yeah. He would set us up for something. Yeah. Do you have questions? No. Okay. How are you doing? Well, how are you feeling? <laughs> just don't ask me how much I weigh. Zinnia, how will we transition out and recover from the last 10 years of Trump? Slowly. Yeah. It's it's going to take a while. It's, it's going to take a while. It's, it's, it's like there are still people in Germany who have their grandfather's German uniforms in the basement, you know, that um, it is what it is. But I do feel. Yeah, I mean, look at the United States citizen carrying Confederate and Nazi flags. It's, it yeah. doesn't make any sense. Both of those are losers. But they don't care. They like white. Well, it's like they just had that boat thing with all the, and they had the Nazi flags flying and everything. Uh, and, and Trump's son was there and all, yay. It's a shame. It's a bad optic, let me tell you. Uh, what shenanigans is Trump planning besides denying he lost the election? I feel he's just going to be like what he's been like on steroids, but that is if he's still cognitive. It, I mean, it might be the people around him that keep it going. You know? I see people working with him, yeah. but they're going to try to do, uh, try to turn it around in certain states. I don't see exactly what's not going to happen. I just don't see the Supreme Court, I could be wrong, picking things up almost like, nope, like they did with him saying it was fraud. Right. And it was stolen. 63 came and, well, Kavanaugh was one of them, and he said, nope, not going to listen to it. And he gave a Kavanaugh what for and talked some trash about him. Well, his days are numbered in the next administration. Yes. But I just feel that, you know, they're going to try and grasp on this stuff. But, you know, this whole thing that what Judge Chuckin released last week with the appendices and everything, it's like there's so much stuff there. My, people are kind of, it's redacted. It's like, yeah, but you can still read between the lines. Yeah, a lot of people don't read. They didn't read the Mueller report. They don't read reports. Like the, the uh, uh, Epstein things. The, the, who's the girl? Maxwell? Yeah. It's loaded with assaults to young girls loaded and nobody's really paying attention 
that's the one thing though when they do investigations they don't talk about it you know they can't talk about it and until it's done and that's what i feel there's still a lot of stuff under the surface that's it's, it's like the <laughs> i just see him not winning <clears throat> jack smith with a pile of subpoena going oh i've got over 200 names that i keep on saying oh i love it little i was gonna say little red envelopes merry christmas merry christmas and, and, and johnson's one of them oh yeah and so is uh of course um jenny oh jenny's going down that's when uh uh thomas i think he's the Step first down. one to exit yeah yeah I just take Jitterbug. hello beautiful linda an amazing author hello will the thug be investigated for the millionth time for price gouging specifically for overcharging the secret service at his hotels i don't see it i think there's so many things up there's so they many have time to do it there's so many but um the fact that he's, you know, has a watch for a hundred thousand dollars. Oh, come on, would you want a Trump watch for a hundred thousand dollars? I'd rather put a down payment on a house. And then but, that fake McDonald's thing. Oh my God, he did that what? Because he said Kamala never worked there. <laughs> I can see now. Would you like? Would you like lies with that? Yeah, I mean, they closed down that McDonald's, and I guess yeah. McDonald's to try to make amends. Said, well, uh, we invite Kamala to come. She's not going to come. It was also, um, I think I was reading that 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 McDonald's itself had been in a little trouble with. Uh, oh, you were reading something about that yeah. particular McDonald's. What did you see? Uh, I, it was just briefly. I was like scanning and just something that they were something about a health violation. I believe it. I could be wrong, but that's what I think I saw. Okay. Um, Craziness. Deborah wants to know what type of recovery can Asheville make after the Hurricane Helene? What will the recovery look like? It's a slow recovery, but I do see a recovery. It's kind of like when they ask that, it's like you see, like, you know, the the water's high. Eventually, it just starts going down. It takes time. Yeah. And I saw a big, uh, I see them taking all the pieces of the homes that are destroyed. And I see them building more homes. I see them rebuilding, but also see them re rebuilding smarter. Yeah. Rebuilding smarter. Oh, Sharon just asked, will Judge Mershon order a full psyche eval before sentencing Trump because he intends to confine Trump in some capacity? I would say after he loses the election, his lawyers may insist upon it. <laughs> He's going to go with the I'm insane thing yeah. when it works for him. Who's okay? Mershon is the one with the uh, New York. With the New York? Yeah. Who's the female that's working on on the January 6th one? That's Judge Chutkin. Okay. Make sure I don't get him confused. I don't see a full psych eval, but I do see a psych eval down the road because he will, as he's losing and drowning and reaching out, he will act so cray cray or try to escape the United States. Something's going to happen. You know, I've, I've been asked many times, you know, others have said, oh, he's going to try and leave the United States. I said, it's kind of hard when you're, you're, you know, handcuffed to a gurney. <laughs> well, and, and I see him getting somebody to private flight him. So he could try or he gets caught trying. Yeah, secret service around him. But I see people very disappointed in him. Like, really? You're just going to up and leave? Like, it's it's talked about. His secret service would help him. Are you kidding? They're corrupt, yeah. too. Well, it's funny. You don't hear about Walt Nutt anymore, either. His valet. I know. Why? Mm -hmm. That's going to come back up when they pick up the, the Florida thing again. Oh, yeah. That's like she dropped it. She's an excellent judge and it's over. No, it's not. No, it's it's unfortunately it's after the election. But the more we go on with this, the more I feel he's not going to be able to do anything. You know, he's just going to be sitting there 
like in the vegetative state somewhere. Interesting. Daniel asks, how many Israeli hostages are still alive? I can't answer that. I don't know. I see a lot of them didn't make it. That's what I see. I don't know if they don't make it because they we close in on them and they they do like they did to those other ones. Well, I feel that some of them died during some of the bombings, you know? Yeah. You know, so it's just, it needs to end. We'll, we'll be able to categorize, categorize, we'll be able to tell what happened to each hostage. Oh, yeah. I even see a grave site that's not marked that someone will show us. And I'm sure there's going to be a, a some type of statue or shrine to them, too. Memorial. So, this is a good one, Jorm. How do you see all the Amish who are being ordered by their church elders in Pennsylvania to register and vote for the felon melon? I believe due to some local bureaucrats shutting down an Amish organic food herb shop. I've heard from former Amish who say there have been over 120,000 new Amish voters registered there this year. Well, I, I can see the Amish making a damn bit of difference. No, but what I can also see is some of the some of the Amish um, going in and voting, <clears throat> and because they're being made to vote for Trump. Vote for Kamala. It's a secret ballot. Um, here's a good one. What's up with Merrick Garland? You know, a lot of people have a lot of issues with him, but considering how he's following Jeff Sessions, Bill Barr, I mean, he's been walking razor on a razor's edge this whole time. Um, he does things very quietly, very methodically, maybe not as fast as we would like, but justice takes time. But he makes sure his T's are crossed, his eyes are dotted. I mean, there's no... Isn't, I don't feel he'll be our be around in the next administration, and I think he'll retire. I think he's going to just say, I'm not coming back. Yeah. I guess it leaked out of uh, Woodward's book that Tr Biden called him an idiot or something. Mm -hmm. Or he wished he hadn't picked him. Mm -hmm. It might be because of his son. Possibly. Possibly. But, I'm, uh, I'm just saying, I don't think Merrick Garland is doing anything going against the country or anything like that. No. I just, he's just uh, being cautious. And I do see them really looking at Elon Musk. I don't think this thing's being dropped, but they can't announce it to everybody. No, you, and that's the one thing about Garland. A lot of the investigations that are going on, you don't know about it. It's yeah. it, it's hush hush. And and where when Bill Barr was there, everything was leaking like a sieve. Yeah, and can I tell you, I do see uh, the DOJ really involved in the voting this time. Watching it like a hawk, showing up mm -hmm. when they need to show up. Um, may we have an update with McConnell and his wife, Cho? Investigations? Elaine Cho. Are they, are they investigating her? I don't know. Hold on. I think Trump wanted something on her when she quit. I believe you're right on that because of her family being in China and all that stuff. Yeah. There may be something going on, but I, I feel it's more about McG McG McConnell and money. Yeah, and I see something to money with, with her that maybe she involved China's money. Something will come up with her. She's living in China now. I could be wrong. And he's so two faced about, you know, get get Trump, get Trump. And then it's like he does everything he can to help Trump. Yeah. Will Justin Trudeau be able to stay on as leader of liberals as there are calls for his resignation? I get it. I get him staying. OK, cool. What do you get? I feel he's staying, too. There were some big floods in Canada, too, by the way. Yeah. And New Mexico. And New Mexico, some people drowned. Yeah. Okay, Sabine, if sentenced to prison, will 45 be immediately handcuffed and taken into custody? From your mouth to God's ears. 
Um, I just saw him standing up and being handcuffed. I don't know if it's that particular thing, but I just saw it. And I see him really saying some foul stuff. Well, is even though we've seen his many of his true colors, which isn't orange, um, a lot of his people have not seen it. They don't yeah. want to. But don't People realize would that love that really has but I do see him being handcuffed. I don't know if it's in the front or the back, but I do see him being handcuffed. But I don't know about going into a regular prison. I've always said facility. I've always said facility. That's what the guys have always told me. Yeah. Will there be chaos for the general public, like riots after November 5th? I see a few pockets. Uh, I was going to say pockets. Some you people know. trying to shut down government offices, but nothing like January. Nothing like January 6th, but some of the you know wacky militia type people will try and intimidate. Did you see that woman on social media that's a, a maggot? That was... Uh, did you see her? No. She spoke like a demon. She was yelling in the thing. I'll send it to you. She looks like Satan. She even has these two little things that stick up on her hair. And she talks, you know, like, we're going to destroy you. Those Where's, kind of people will just, boom, they're gone. Where's Father Marin when you need him? Somebody needs to grab some holy water. That's what I mean. Um, are the ETs helping Kamala to win? No. No. They don't get they involved. Can't. They can't interfere. No, they get involved if, if, if... If little rocket man wants to throw a nuclear weapon, yeah. They can do that, but they can't, no. What do you see, by the way, about nuke, about uh, the North Koreans going into Ukraine as of now? I see them being wiped out like ants. I could be wrong. You mean, <coughs> what I get was, I feel they sent them over, but also if you don't fight for and do what we tell you, we're going to annihilate your family. Yeah, so they're just, they're all expecting to die. Mm -hmm. They'll try to, they might kill a couple of people, but they... I, they don't want to. Their heart's not in it. They're, they're, no, it's, it's not their war. No, but also, but they do whatever their leader tells them to do. Right, or else their family gets... Because some have already escaped. Mm -hmm. Some have already ran into Ukraine and said, please, let me... This is, remember, we were talking about when Putin met with with him, King Don, and we said that maybe more than just talking about bullets and missiles and all that other stuff, and that's what this was. Yeah, but you know, he's letting his men die for his sake, for Putin's sake. Yeah, well, but you know, I'm almost feeling like Kim Jong Un was showing off like his military was so excellent, and they're nothing. It's a nothing burger. Oh, he's 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 a he's a saber rattler. I mean, that's all it is. You know, I've got nukes whenever everything is. Everybody else is getting um, the news is all over here. All of a sudden it's like Kim Jong Un shows up like, you know, like I was invited to the party, but I'm going to show you the great house. I Well, have. that's what he did to Trump. And then Trump, because Trump doesn't care, said our nukes are bigger than your nukes, sucker, and we will blow you out of the water. So go ahead. Make my day. And that's when he kissed Trump's butt, but that shows you what a chicken he is. Oh, yeah. Because he knows North Korea would be, it's a shame, because innocent people would die. But they're an afterthought. But also, you know, South Korea would get hit if you do something in North Korea. That's the problem. What do you mean South Korea would get hit? Well, I mean, yeah, the blowout. If they do a nuclear blast in uh, North Korea, that's not going to help the uh, South Koreans any. No, but I I don't see no South Korea. Being... I don't see it happen. I don't see it happening. Taiwan wasn't giving anything to Ukraine, and now they they can't get it there fast enough. Well, they're really like, well because they're afraid of she, you know, and yeah, but that's why they just want. And now they're realizing if Trump were to get in, you know, they're going to be raising the Chinese flag. Oh, I know. They talk about it all the time. 
Sean said, how will it, how long will it take Trump to finally go away? I do see him going away. Psychically, I, they're not telling me how long, but it doesn't feel as long as we've had to deal with them all this time. Well, I've always said you got to be alive to be a president, but I'm not sure if that means brain dead or dead dead. But like I said before, if it's the latter, call Dr. Van Helsing. Well, listen, when Kamala gets in, mark my words on this. When Kamala gets in, what you call is going to hit the fans. Because she's not going to put up with his blubbering and his his threats. Poor Biden, he puts up with it. I don't know why he he lets he doesn't try to show any attention, which is what Kamala should do. But I feel she will make investigation. It'll expand on him worse. Who are we talking about? About about Trump when Kamala's oh. president, she's not going to put up with Trump's threats. Oh, correct. And, and she's not going to be Miss Nice Guy. You know, Biden has this thing of letting it roll. He may swear behind closed doors. Yeah, yeah he's a Scorpio. But, you know, I, I could see Kamala saying, you know what? Let's raid his house. Let's. I want to see that man in Hannibal, Lex in Hannibal Lecter's mask. <laughs> I just see you guys seeing some stuff, but she doesn't want to get too hard because then everybody will be mad at her. She wants the maggots to come over and Personally. agree with her. Yeah. But you don't want to make the man a martyr. No, but it feels like it could be a good six months before he finally goes away. Is Katie Porter a future governor? Katie Porter. I don't feel she... it. California? Oh, well, didn't she try to be oh, a senator? And she yeah, and, and to shift. I feel there's a place in the cabinet for her. I felt a place too, and that she's real good at what she does. Mm -hmm. She her might even be offering her services to um, Kamala. Her and her whiteboard. Will the Democrats take the House and the Senate? Will MTG finally get her, her butt booted out? I see them taking the House and the Senate. This is all because of Roe versus Wade. By and the I don't. I don't think it's just by. Uh, I don't think it's razor thin. I could be wrong. It's not. I'm telling you right now. I see her winning by a good amount. He'll scream. Doesn't matter what. And she's going down with a subpoena. I saw she's one of the ones top of the list. He's Jack is just waiting for it. He's looking forward to what we got a week. This yeah. Tuesday, we got another week. 15 days. Oh, we got two weeks. But um. Yeah, Marjorie Taylor Greene may think she's an influencer. She's more an instigator, you know. She's going down. Do you see Bobert winning? No. Because they were saying her numbers were good. I'm like, what? That isn't what I saw. That's not what I'm seeing either. No. She got a job working at the theater. Anita said, how long will it take for the neighbors to take down their Trump signs? It depends. I feel like after he's get, get gotten hit from New York and some other stuff's going on, they'll take it down. There'll be one or two diehards. There will, always will be. Well, this is interesting. My two cents. And is Russia sending persons to Mexico to stage a riot at the border, according to Christopher Steele on the Tom Hartman show? And if so, what effects might this have? I can't see anything. If there's no huge riot. No, but I feel that even if, if they were to try something, it would be thwarted. Yeah. It would be thwarted. It, I feel they won't be able to follow through with what they're planning, if they are planning to do something. But I believe anything. I do believe what Michael Steele has to say. Yeah, well, they could be sending people, but don't forget, Mexico is going through some geographical changes too, some mm -hmm. big time storms and stuff. Um, do you still feel Josh Hawley losing? Absolutely. Goodbye. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Especially it's after his own state did an op-ed on him that he's the most worthless person they've ever had. 
Yeah, and the whole thing about a while ago he'd written about um, Claire McCaskill flying in private jets and everything. Oh, and then come to find out he does three times as much. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is an interesting question. I'm going to go, we usually don't do personal questions. My sister died at the end of June. Three mm -hmm. weeks before her death, I felt a warm presence behind my right shoulder. This presence felt like it held my hand and put a hand on the center of my back. I've never felt so loved. It disappeared two weeks after her death. Who was that? It was her. Does it feel like one of her guides? I feel maybe one of her guides, but I'm also feeling it may have been her sister because her sister was in, in both realms towards the end. But that kind of love usually comes from an energy form. That yeah, I understand. This. But I'm saying it may be a combination of both. I mean, I'm serious. The sister has something to do with it. But well, they, they definitely had to do with the sister's death. Mm -hmm. But I feel some higher realm. It could have been even a great grandparent or someone who's been over there for a while. Or an angel type energy is what I get. Yeah. Here. Letting you know everything's going to be okay in the long run. Somebody doesn't listen to us. Uh, England, England. My question is, J.D. Vance going to be president in 2025? Someone doesn't listen to our shows. Absolutely not. Either that or trying to get a job at the comedy club. <laughs> <clears throat> Um, yeah, I don't think so. Well, Trump insists they make him employee of the month at McDonald's. <laughs> Doesn't matter if he does. They're not going to do anything. They're kind of stuck right now because they got so much feedback. <laughs> I saw a picture. They turned him into a clown like Ronald McDonald. And they said Mc McDonald's. I'm like, you forgot the word old. Old McDonald. Had that for him. So Florida started voting today. Are you mm -hmm. seeing... Um, Kamala win as president in Florida? It's going to be close, but I want to get a yes on it. Okay. I know. I felt at MSNBC, I got a hit almost a year ago. Look yeah, when you it. said Rachel Maddow said uh, Florida and, like, and what? They took Florida. It, Florida might even be the ones that we don't know until like a day or two later. But I also feel do you think McCarcel Powell might win? Against it's Scott, I think he will. Yeah. Well, 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 we'll I'm sorry. Everybody's disgusted with what DeSantis is doing, and anything DeSantis is doing, Rick Scott's connected to. So it's, you know. And the, the, that judge said it's it's the First Amendment, stupid. Oh, I know. That was the best. He didn't like that. He doesn't like anyone telling him anything. He thinks he can rough shot over people like he owns this country. Well, isn't that usually like what short people do? Just kidding. Well, Will Rollins win as Democrat against Ken Calvert, who's a MAGA. I think oh, this is California 41. I think Will will win. Democrat. Yeah. Any more additional hurricanes hitting Florida this year? I feel there's two storms brewing, but not like Nothing like nothing like before. I don't see Armageddon. No. No, nothing. Well, Harris win Arizona, Florida, and Wisconsin. I feel yes to all of them. I'm very optimistic. I want to say I um borderline with Arizona, to be honest with you, but the other two I get a yes on. Well, the thing is that guy, Galliego, was way ahead. Oh, I know, but against Kerry Lake. And it, that, because people are coming out to vote for him, they might go ahead and do, because they, they're they against that abortion stuff. Oh, yeah. I haven't looked at her in a while. Have you got any hint about the future of Elise Stefanik? She's New York, right? Yeah. Re she's Republican. Yeah, she's the one that dresses all up and talks trash about Americans. I see you're going away. I do, too. 
So listen, I this 11 minutes ago, fake sports said Costa Rica had its first earthquake in a long time. 6.7 in the ocean, six hours from Tam, Tamarindo. Are we going to experience more earthquakes? And it's so funny. I just did a show that I saw the shift of the earth underneath the that's, ocean. I wonder if that's what I saw. That's probably what you did. Yeah, definitely more. Um, more I keep thinking of something about, about Italy the other night. Italy's had some uh, volcanic issues mm -hmm. and big time flooding. And by the way, um, China and Ta there's other where they make rice. The rice is going to be a real issue next year because everything got flooded out. Mm. Will Ohio go purple? I'm I'm still seeing Ohio red. Mm. Pockets of yeah. Blue. J.D. Vance's wife, she met him when he was a liberal. She worked for a liberal law firm. Has she drank the Kool-Aid? Yeah. yeah. Oh, listen, she was talking trash about Kamala on social media. I don't oh, know. When, when she said, if Kamala gets into the White House, you're going to smell curry? Yeah. I mean, that's like, hello, kettle black. It's like, oh, well, does your house smell like curry? But someone said... You know, no wonder your husband likes couches. Yeah, really. <laughs> Couch potato. Oh, this is a good one. Will churches ever be taxed? I absolutely say yes to that. Yes. It may take a few years. It might be the second part of the administration, but I see that happening. You know what's disgusting is they just, here in Los, the diocese here, I believe in Los Angeles, just paid $880 million. For, for, for um, assaults. Mm-hmm. To pay victims. Will other celebrities be exposed in the Sean Combs Diddy scandal? Will more names come out? Yes. So I heard that uh, the guy that used to be married to Demi Moore is trying to get out of the country, but you know, it could be all hearsay. Ashton Kutcher? Yeah. Well, he has his own uh, foundation to help uh Traffic, you know, girls that have been trafficked. Oh, traffic. Maybe girls. they're just making that up about him then. I don't know. He's already didn't. I don't know. He did stand up for the the guy that was accused of rape that got sentenced uh, from the show, uh, but I don't see him playing. I don't. I don't, I don't see that. Okay. Um. Will Trump claim victory before the counting is done? Is the Pope Catholic? I think so, too. Uh, when will the conflict in the Middle East finally end? Not till the next year, in the middle of next year. Well, it never is going to end, really. I mean, there's always going to be something, unfortunately. Yeah. Will Tammy Baldwin win in Wisconsin? Absolutely, yes. 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 Uh, will Putin be gone soon? Next year, yes. You know, I really get pissed off because I keep on saying I felt he was going to be gone in April or we start going downhill in April. But the man's still popping up here and there. Let's hope it's next April, by next April. Do you April. see West Virginia going back to blue within the next few years? Next few years? I'm going to yeah. say that. Yeah. Didn't they vote for Obama, West Virginia? Mm hmm Everybody voted for Obama. Will there be any blue wins for Arkansas? One or two. I, it just feels tight. Arkansas, Alabama. Especially with, what's her name there? Um, Sarah Huckabee? Sanders? Oh, they're just terrible people. I still see she's in trouble. She's in big trouble. Yeah. And they're investigating her now, but she uses the power of her office to kind of stifle it. But she's going down. Well, abuse of power, that'll come out. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it, my friend. Wow. We went through them all. Yay. It took, uh, you know, a good 45, 50 minutes. Good. Well, it was funny because, you know, 
a lot of my clients have been asking, what was it like meeting Linda in Chicago? I said, she's really a mean girl. It's all fake. It's all, oh, don't she believe is her. She's just a diva. To uh, this, just manding the man. No. And was, she's like, are you going to eat that sandwich? And she takes your sandwich. She said, I don't feel like going to the bathroom. Will you pee for me? <laughs> no, she's, Linda was, oh, Linda and Mel, every, everyone was just delightful. I mean, I but was so, I wasn't feeling good and I didn't realize I had COVID. Well, I was throwing up the whole day on, on Friday. But you didn't have COVID. No, no. Or if you did, you're not telling us. No, I tell you. I would tell you. Okay. I had, I had it the weeks before. Okay. But, um, and there's Linda pulling my pants down. <laughs> I was having a wardrobe malfunction, I would say. And I'm up there giving, doing the raffle. And my pants kept on like going down a little bit. And all of a sudden, it's like, I go to walk. It's like Linda's sitting behind me. And I went, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. And then she yelled, for $19, he'll moon you. I'm like, hell, for $1.95, I'll do it. Uh, well, you were really good on the piano. You played a couple of things on the piano. It was wonderful. Well, you know what was amazing? Those weren't real pianos. What? They had the shell of a piano, but when you sat down at the keyboard, that was an electric keyboard. That was a, a actual keyboard. I did. And, and the sound was coming over the speakers. That's why the music, that's why the piano playing was so loud. Okay, because it was really loud. Yeah, but it was... Um, well, that's how I pay for college, playing piano bars. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. You're just like Billy Joel. I would say Noel Coward, but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> all right, my friend. Listen, thank you for everything. And um, I've got availabilities all of November if anybody needs anything. So. Oh, yeah. Get, be, be sure to look him up for how do they reach you to schedule a, a reading? I've had people come back to me saying... They had an excellent reading, by the way. Who are they? I'll have to pay them. I'll, them I'll send you. I'll send you later. No, it's um, just my website, uh, com or through um, here on YouTube. All right. Love and you guys. Love you. Thank you. Catch you later. Cheers. Bye. Bye.